guys and welcome to vlogmas day 19 can you believe we're only six days away from christmas but i'm in front of our christmas tree i just wanted to show you guys the one present under the tree is the present chloe gave me on saturday but she won't let me open it because she just follows the rules and this is the only present I'm, oh my gosh it's heavy i didn't even feel it she put it under here we never put out presents until like overnight for Christmas, like Santa. And I like that tradition. So I hope that that stays the same. Dad, if you're listening, <laughs> never change that <laughs> because it's just like magical when you wake up and all the presents are there and they weren't there before, even though we're old enough to know the truth about Christmas. But <laughs> dad shaking his head. I don't know the truth. I'm kidding. <laughs> but we are going to see the new Star Wars movie tonight. And I've heard really mixed things about it. Some people are like, this is amazing. It's like more than I hoped for. And then other people are like, what was that shit? So I don't know what I will think of it. I didn't really follow I didn't follow Star Wars at all like we saw some when I was a kid in theaters but I don't remember them and the one that I love the most is the one that this is like following so The Force Awakens I really really loved so then this is like the one that comes after that the way Star Wars works is really confusing to me with it being all out of order so but we will see what we think, and we're just gonna eat something quickly because the movie's ugh, pretty soon, and it's just a long movie, so we wanted to see it kind of earlier if possible. See, so, yeah, I wasn't feeling very well today. I was having like, what? What? You can talk, I can edit this out. I wasn't feeling very well today, I was, I had like heartburn or something and I still kind of do then I was cramping a lot so I was just like Meh, you know and I still feel like that but you know it is what it is so I got something exciting in the mail today that I want to show you guys but I think I'll have to show you later since we do have to get going but I'll let you guys know what I think of the movie after the fact <laughs> So we just finished seeing it. I really liked it. There was like yep, some parts up. where I was like, oh my God, like come on, get yep. on with it. Yep. But overall it was really, really enjoyable. And yep. I liked all the battle scenes. Like there was like three standout battle scenes. Mm -hmm. I'd recommend the movie. Yeah. I would recommend seeing it for sure. Especially if you like action. Like I don't know anything about Star Wars. So I don't know if like huge fans would be like, oh, this isn't, good enough or whatever I think mom and i like the world star wars yes. okay well if you if you liked star wars from the beginning or if you're a newbie like me i think you would enjoy it and i want to see why michael didn't really like it i'm intrigued now because overall i felt like it was really really good people like the second half better i like the second half way better but yeah, I would see you guys go out and see with your friends and family and see if they hate it or love it. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back from the movie. This was like an all evening affair. It's 9.30 now. We left pretty much at like 5.30. Whew, crazy, crazy times. But um, I don't think I mentioned, but the reason we try to go to see movies on Tuesdays is if you have AMC, like theaters, it's $5.00 on Tuesdays for any movie and it just saves so much money and if you have AMC stubs which if you don't you need it it's ten dollars a year to get points and you rack up points so so quickly and you get like five dollar rewards all the time like I paid for mine like I don't know at the beginning of this year or something and I've already had like 50 or more dollars in rewards and you get discounts on your snacks and stuff. It's just like a no brainer if you go to AMC movie theaters a lot. So I really love the movie. I, it was a snooze fest during the first like half and it's a very long movie. 
So I was getting like a little discouraged and worried that it was gonna like totally suck, especially because Michael said he really didn't like it. And so I just like kept thinking that and I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna like it either. And then it really picked up. Like the second half is so much better. There's three battle scenes. I'm gonna like spoil stuff. So if you don't wanna be spoiled, don't watch the rest of this. I'll like wave my hands like this when I'm done. But basically from the battle scene with Rey and Kylo Ren versus Snoke and his like red army, that is where it got super, super good to me. And for the first half of the movie, the parts that I liked the best were with Rey and Kylo Ren, like their like communication to each other that they couldn't really understand, but they for some reason could see each other and communicate with each other's thoughts. And that was really interesting to me because you can definitely tell that Rey has very strong powers just like Kylo Ren. And by the way, Adam Driver is a badass. He perfectly encompasses what I imagine to be Kylo Ren. And that's always amazing to me when a character, when an actor really is the character, like they really bring it to life and you don't even question like that this is a movie, you think that this is like real. It's so, so cool. I love stuff like that. So Adam Driver was so good. I really liked um, Luke Skywalker's character. I thought he was really interesting. I was like here and there with him throughout the movie, but I really liked the addition of him in this. And like I said, I'm not really a like Star Wars person. I never like really watched the old ones. So I don't know pretty much anything about like the lineage or whatever other than if their last names are the same. And I know that Kylo Ren is the son of Darth Vader. So it was just, it was just a good movie. Like if you disregard pretty much the first half and the fact that like Leia went out into the <laughs> space and then somehow came back in and survived, like that was just a little far-fetched to me. Like I know you have powers, but I just, I don't know. That was like a little much to me. And Michael said that was a big thing that he didn't like in the movie, which I understand because it is just kind of like so much of it obviously is not possible, but that was just kind of like, what? Like, I don't know. I don't know. So the other parts that I really liked were with Finn and Rose. I thought Rose was a really, really great character and she just had so, she was just so real and she had so many like true like emotions that were so easy to relate to in such like a really difficult circumstance, like putting yourself in any of their shoes. I think I would be like super emotional just like Rose was. So she was really cool and I love Finn. I think that he's so sweet and awesome. I don't know, I just really, really like him. I, I've liked him since the last movie. Obviously those are the only two he's been in, but um, the battle scene at the end with, they were on like that, white sand and then when they like would fly it was red that was one of the coolest visual effects i've ever seen i've never seen anything like that that was just really really interesting like a really unique way to like show the terrain and how it's so different from reality i guess and since all these planets are not real they can like make it whatever they want and with those like ice critters the i think they call them crystal critters or something and that was really cool and then ray saving the day with the force and yeah i just overall really really enjoyed it and i think that if you go into it with not too high expectations i think you'll be really happy and since I'm not like a Star Wars person, I wasn't, I didn't have any hopes really. I was just hoping it would be entertaining and it was for the most part for the second half. So, okay, that's it. You can watch now, but I am going to get ready for bed. I want to show you guys what I got in the mail because I think I'm going to use something for my mask mist in this. I've been using, you can see it's dirty, my um, face halo. I've been using this for the past two days since I did my first impression with you guys. And as you can see, it's 
I clean it out, but it's like j my mascara and stuff just stains it. So it looks kind of nasty, but it really does work. It's it's really convenient and I feel like it'll be nice once I use up my makeup removers, like my oil cleansers and stuff, to hopefully be able to use more exclusively this. And it's just more sustainable. You don't have to buy a product all the time and you can rewash this, so I like that. And so after I wash my face and stuff, I will show you guys what mask I'm gonna use. You guys, so this pile of stuff I got in the mail today and I am so excited because Peach and Lily has been having free shipping for the holidays. And I have racked up quite a lot of reward money with them. I had $80 in reward money and I wasn't using it because if you didn't spend $50 of like real money, you would still have to pay the $7 shipping. And I just couldn't get myself to do that. So when they did the free shipping, no minimum, I decided to use all of my reward money during this time. So mostly I have a huge pile of uh, sheet masks. I have one full size product and then these are the samples that came with it. It was all the same um, Aromatica Natural Coconut Cleansing Oil, Silicone Oil Free and Mineral Oil Free. And <laughs> this like confuses me about Peach and Lily. This brand is the only brand of samples that they ever send. So I don't know if like no other brands that they carry do samples or what, but I'm definitely gonna put this to good use. But those were the samples. Then the full size product that I got, I'm really excited about. This is a new brand that Peach and Lily is carrying. It's called Abib. I believe that's how you say it. This is the Hydration Creme Water Tube. And there's two versions of this. There's one that's this one in the white tube. And then there's one that I think is like a water gel or something in a black tube. And what intrigued me about this is how natural the ingredients are. You can see all the ingredients on the front, very, very nice stuff. Um, and I like the packaging, it's like a metal tube and you can just squeeze every little drippity drop out. So I have yet to try this because I just got it today, but I'm gonna try it tonight probably and see how I like it for a nighttime moisturizer. Then moving on to all the masks. So I got some repurchases and some new ones. So this is new to me, the Mizan uh, Nourishing Mask. All of these that were new to me were on my wish list. Then because I really like the Tosu Wong Aloe, I got three of these because I really like that. And then I decided to try their Propolis Mask, which is a honey sheet mask. So I got four of those, one more of the reset button because I know I love that. Then I got two of the Leaders Coconut Gel Mask with Blueberry because I really enjoy this mask, but it's expensive. It's $6 per sheet mask. And this is actually like one of those, I don't remember what they call it, hydrogel or something like that, where um, it's not like a sheet of cotton, it's like a cushiony gel. So I decided to get two of those because I know I like it. I've been wanting to try the Holika Holika Juicy Sheet Mask and I chose the honey one of them. I picked out this Leaders Amino Moisture Mask. And the last one I got is the Edo Classic Real Tonic Soothing Treatment Mask. And this is an intriguing brand to me too. It's pretty natural. And I don't believe that there's any added fragrance. So I got all these masks because I've been loving daily masking and I definitely want to keep it up even after maskness is over. So I think I'm going to do, ooh, which one? <laughs> um, Let's use one of these. I know I like these. So I'm gonna treat myself to this mask tonight. This is how cool this mask is, you guys. It's like gel. The mouthpiece, like the mustache part, doesn't really work for my face, but I made it work. Um, I just wanted to say, because I can't believe I didn't bring this up, two things that I can't believe I didn't bring up from today two like surprise, one that's like amazing and one that's like funny and cool. So the amazing thing is that Lady Gaga, oh my God, you guys, 
is going to have a residency in Las Vegas starting next December. And this like, oh my god, this makes me so happy. This makes me so happy because I loved Las Vegas so much when I went there. It's one of my favorite places I've ever been. And it's just like a different world. Like if you want to just like escape, like I've never been on a tropical vacation and I feel like that would feel like the same thing. It's just like a totally different world out there. Like you can do anything you want. I've never felt more free. And Lady Gaga is my number one favorite singer, celebrity, artist, person. <laughs> like, I really, really think that she is amazing. And I am just so thrilled that she will have a two-year residency at the MGM. And I will see her. You can count on that. And I hope to see her more than once. Oh my god, it just, like, thinking about it makes my heart beat really hard, and I'm just so excited and for any of you guys who are huge Lady Gaga fans. If you have been to Las Vegas, or if you have not been to Las Vegas, I hope that you're able to go and see her during the time that she is out there, because I think that it's just going to be such a cool experience, like, Las Vegas is so, so cool, and I am excited that I'll have an additional reason to go out there, so that was my really exciting piece of news, and then my funny and cool piece of news is, <laughs> and I forgot to even tell my parents they're gonna freaking die, so if you guys have been with me for quite a while, like, if you've been following me for at least two years, you probably know that I got forklift certified at work and I think that I included that in my like fun facts you might not know about me video because it's definitely one of those facts that like pretty much no one would believe that I would be forklift certified but I've always gotten out of it. I've never had to do it, like, since getting certified. And I've been, like, terrified of ever, like, really having to do it because I only had to do it for my class and certification. I don't really remember how to do it. So today we were working on something where I had to, like, be out in the area where all the shipping is. And <laughs> my coworker, he's, like, the boss of the production area. He was like, Megan, like, why don't you try to move these boxes on the forklift? I know you can do it. And I was like, oh my god, like, I, I didn't want to do it when he said it. But it was basically like, I had to do it. Like, he wasn't giving me a choice. He wasn't, like, being mean. But <laughs> he was kind of like, you need to do it because you're forklift certified and you never, ever use the forklift. So he like was next to me the whole time and was like coaching me through it, but I did it and it wasn't like anything really important. Like I just had to move stuff onto the scale and move it off and then put everything back and then put the forklift back and it made me feel really good because it was definitely nerve wracking since I didn't feel confident since I haven't done it in years. But it made me feel really awesome for being able to do it. And no one else that's, like, in an office job in our company can do it. It's only, like, people in the shop. And then me. <laughs> and, like, you guys know, I'm one of two women in our whole company. So, yeah, it made me feel like a badass for sure. So I can't wait to tell my parents that because since we saw the movie, I didn't have time to, like, chat with them. But, yeah, that's my fun fact. And all my family... <laughs> on Christmas is gonna not freak out because literally every time I see my family they're all like have you done the forklift again and I'm always like nope always get out of it but this time I'll be able to tell them I did it so <laughs> oh my god it was just one of those really funny things